you know, again, you said this earlier, Justice looks like, you know, a five foot six guy, but he's six feet tall, but there's a big difference in size with these guys. Steve Maurer, he fought, we, he, Steve Maurer also fought and defeated Dustin Clements earlier. I actually said he trains with Dustin Clements now. It's not, he doesn't, Darian does. Darian trains with Steve, big Steve Maurer. Shout out to Steve Maurer, one of the nice guys in uh, heavyweight fighting. Uh, Justice for Ayo against Darian Abbey at heavyweight, bone on bone, bare knuckle MMA. Wow, that's a bigger, taller guy rushing in and closing the disc. A little, su little surprising there. Let, uh, probably just a feint to get him thinking. Yeah, and I think he wanted to see what he did. And you know what Justice did? He stood right there. <laughs> he stood right there. Look at the reach advantage here. Yep. Justice is not a small man, but he looks like a little kid standing next to Darian. Hands down is interesting because you got to move your head anyways, and you can attack from the unseen angle when you've got your hands dropping down like that. Yeah, Darian almost looks a little unconcerned where he is, but let me tell you something. It's a fight, and it's a bare-knuckle fight. Mm. That is not the place to be unconcerned. You're right. You're right. You should be nervous. If you're sane, you're, you've got some anxiety. <laughs> you are in a professional car accident in a cage, bare knuckle, fighting in front of all these people in your underpants. It's not a normal endeavor. It is not, it is not for everyone. Darian Abbey, actually you can see his comfort level increasing. Oh, geez. It's like a baseball bat to the rib cage. Yeah, that was a good shot to the body there. Justice has got to get in. Justice has a real athletic, oh. He's just, just stuck him with it He's as he was kicking. Standing at range, throwing low kicks, and with that, with that tail of the tape is probably not gonna work out too well for Justice throughout this fight. My friend, Boss Rutten, will yell, no naked leg kicks. Especially against a guy who looks like that. Look at the right hand of Justice controlling that uh, right, or the, of Darian Abbey controlling the right hand of Justice. Yeah, it's a good wrist ride, but uh, back to the feet. I like the sound of that, the right hand of justice. <laughs> justice fired the left, now ducks underneath to engage. Ooh, you got a spinning heavyweight. Yeah, a little sloppy looking on that takedown. I don't think that's gonna be an effective. Good uppercut on coming in there. That'll no get him thinking about coming in again. Yeah, he did some jarring damage to that nose. We'll steal his attention, steal his focus. There's a right hook. I think Abby has to be pretty pleased with the way this yeah. fight is starting. But again, this is just this is a sport where one shot can change the, the, the face of a fight really quickly, as well as the face of the fighter. <laughs> yes, you're poetic tonight, Dan. You're poetic, Justin. Trying to take notes. It's my third time with you. Approved. You're here in uh, from Abby's corner. I think it's Chase Sherman over in his corner. Chase, of course, is a dangerous heavyweight himself. He's saying he's dropping the lead hand and he fires the kick up, but then uh, loses his own footing. And, and Justice did not look too, uh, too anxious to jump in there and try to take advantage and get on top, so I guess his strategy is gonna be to keep this fight standing. Justice wants to land knuckles, chuck knuckles, and then play craps. God, it's a tough assignment when this guy has, you know, almost double digit reach on you and seven inches of height, and he's a skilled, chilled guy. Tough assignment for, for uh, you. Unless his, unless the strategy is to try to wear him down and see uh -huh. see how the cardio wears on the on the big man. Uh, he's prob probably not the wisest strategy to try to get in there and exchange really hard early on. That's the strategy, slip off the line and then get underneath. Justice can see everything out here, but he can't, he, you can't be offensive on the end of the taller man's weapons. You're at least one step away from being able to do what you want. That step being, I have to close distance first. So it takes two steps to be able to do anything. Good right hand, I think that may have landed right there. I mean, you definitely see a difference. In the Slick balance by Darian Abbey. Gets caught in the air with the thigh and ends up on the back of Justice Fa'io. And, and he's not really moving. He had an opportunity there if he moved quick to try to get out. And he didn't take advantage of it like you saw Javonis take advantage of it and explode. But here he is. Yeah. Uh, that's a mistake yeah. by Abbey. Yeah. yeah. History may or may not reflect, 
you know, an outcome of that mistake, but it's not a choice he would have typically made to, and as a result, he ends up on his back with 30 seconds remaining with Justice Fa oh, in t on top of him. And you can do different, you can do some damage in 30 seconds in a bare knuckle fight on top from this position. A heavyweight with bare knuckle and elbows and an ornery attitude can, can gash up a guy. His right hand is free, he should try to be throwing over that. He hears the 10 second count. And he'll get one or two off in that time, but you're right, Dan. There was 30 seconds where he could have prioritized offense and prioritized damage, but he ends the round on top. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna find himself in that position again. We'll have to see how these guys look coming off the stool for round two, but definitely a, a stark contrast in strategies between uh, Abby and, and the other fighter earlier tonight, Dustin Clements, who's also a big, strong, tall, lanky guy like him. Dustin came in and threw a lot of volume to try to keep his opponent away. Well, Zaddy just seems like you said, chill and relax, and she's trying to land a couple of shots and maybe w win a decision more so than she's looking for a, def a finish, although he certainly came in aggressive there with, with that jumping knee. Yeah. Here he had the position, and you said, you know, mistake, error, you whatever, sometimes we're resulting. We're looking back in, at, in time saying, oh, look, he made an error there. But I, I, I bet when he watches, you're right, Darian Abbey, uh, will not look back and go, I made the right choice attacking that arm, but fortunately for him, he ra rode the round out and didn't take too much damage when he was on the bottom. Yeah, sometimes body language can be a little deceiving, but in the corners between the rounds, it looks like Justice has got a little bit more on the cardio side, so let's see how they come out. Gonna be more aggressive and you know if you got anybody in your corner they're gonna be saying we need more forward movement justice and you see that's what he's doing that is exactly what he's doing he's not gonna win this fight from the outside you know there's there are some situations there for him that's a few flying knees we've seen from a heavyweight here Justice has really changed his approach a lot, and it's gonna be for the better. Yeah, you typically do not get free flying knees in the first round and a half of a, of a fight from a guy the size of Darren Abbey. So Justice ate a jab there, but before that, he moved his head and he made his man miss. He made Abbey miss. That's the, fu that's the hard part. But he's not doing the fun part. So, you know, he's making a miss, but he's not firing back. Yeah, Abby's throwing more flying knees than he has jabs, which is interesting. A good, couple of good straight rights from him, but he's really not working the jab as much to set them up. Mr. Poetic Justice moving forward, but he moves straight into a smashing knee. He did, that was a good knee, but he ate it well. Abby now showing him kicks, showing him kicks and or knees, getting that imprinted in the mind. Good feint, the front kick's keeping him at distance where he's gonna have the advantage. That's smooth, oh. good job. Oh, good, good, good counter with the left by Justice. That backed Abby up. Justice has a sharp, like, intense jab, but Justice answered with a hard overhand left. More feints there, now attacking low and then high. Justice has a, a hard head, eating some big bone-on-bone, -bone, knuckle on knuckle shots, but he's starting to wear some of the effects from it. Yeah. It almost looks like Abby's throwing the bigger shots, but Justice's smaller shots are getting a bigger reaction. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He's moving his head, trying to avoid the punches, but then the knees come. Yeah, Abby's definitely scoring there. Mm -hmm. And Abby's just tracking the targets now. You know, without conscious thought, he's seeing where the targets are moving and interpreting where they'll be when he fires his weapon. There's a good jab from that. Yeah. Superman chip punch missed. Halfway through this fight. Yeah, a little more aggression from both guys in this round, which is a good sign. Little step off to that uh, left hand. It was tricky. Yeah, Justice is still in this. He's not overusing the jab, but he's turning up the amount of jabs. He's increasing the, the frequency and the intensity of the jabs. Darian's corner. Nice, Darian. Beat him up. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's all you need. 
It's just a different way of saying what you're doing is good. Yeah, and even the smaller shots are gonna are gonna add up. And here comes another knee. Oh. That one landed. Oh, did it ever! The double pump knee, left knee comes up, right knee fires behind it, a piston to the jaw. Fa'ayo uh, can really take a shot, man. Yeah, I'm not questioning his chin in any way, it's shape, or form. No. Do not criticize his game, his choices at the craps table. That is for sure. Yeah, I was gonna, just going to say, I don't think the high crotch on a guy that size is going to be really effective. Yeah, he that. rotated the other arm out and opened him up. Now it goes to the other hand. He's been using predominantly the left, but opens it up with a clean straight right. Now back to the jab. Switches stance, re-switches. Jabs to the inside. This is a good round for Abby. He's, he's scoring mm. a lot more. The, the first round was, was, was close. I thought Justice had a chance to steal it in the last 30 seconds, but he didn't take advantage of it. Abby's probably up in this round and probably won the first one. Oh. Couple shots. <laughs> oh, he looks for the spinning back elbow. Almost baiting him in. Did enough to get him to spike, to stop moving forward by offering that threat of the elbow. But he, he got cracked with two there. It's gonna be hard for Justice to get the clean knockdowns. He's gonna have to, you know, be a little more offensive and, and, and fire out some more weapons. Holy cow, believe it or not, looks like we may be on the verge yeah. of seeing a third round for the first time. We tonight. don't do, oh, just, just said that, he almost took his hat off. We don't do third rounds around here, Dan, what are you talking about? Right. Action-backed heavyweight fight, no shortage of offensive weaponry, but two really tough guys, particularly great weapons, great offense by Darren Abbey, and a great ability to absorb damage and keep coming by Justice Fa'aio. Yeah, you might watch this fight and think there haven't been any significant shots Fake. landed because you haven't seen guys get hurt real quick, real bad, and react to them and get dropped. But uh, I, I think it's more of a testament to these guys just being tough and need to resort punishment because there's been some shots as you're seeing in the replay right here. Yeah. Oh, he tucked that one in. You're right. All you got to do is watch these replays. And uh, the, the explanation is clearly the toughness why we're still here. But well, you gotta stay in it if you're gonna win it, and Fa'aio is staying in it, but you gotta think Dustin Abbey, Darian Abbey, I'm sorry, is the one uh, winning this fight currently. So for Fa'aio, it's even more forward pressure, it's even more attacking, and uh, that will not only put Abbey in more jeopardy, but it'll put ju uh, Justice in more jeopardy as well. Yeah, I think Justice is gonna need a finish if he wants to win this fight. The good news is with Bare Knuckle, those finishes are there for the yeah. taking. Yeah, it's true. You see the swelling in, in Justice's face, but man, he's got a tough head. Yeah, he's lumped up in several spots on his forehead. There's been a lot of shots that have connected. Oh, good work by Fa'aio. Body lock now. Darian digs underneath. I think he may be draining some time and some energy going for these takedowns when he doesn't have a lot of either one to burn here. He's got four and a half minutes left. He's down two rounds. Yep. It's one of those things when there's so much chaos out in the open, sometimes just being in here is so comforting. You don't have to, well, you know. There it is. <laughs> there. All right. I was with you, Dan. That's a lot of work, but he, he knows he went to something he's very good at, the body lock work and the rotation and the, and the turn. Now he's going to have four minutes to try to do some work here. Which is a ton of time. Yep. I'm only commenting on that because when he had this opportunity at the end of the first round, he just really did not do much. So either A, he has it and just didn't use it because of the positioning thing, or maybe he thought he didn't have enough time, or B, he's just not as good at it as he needs to be. If he's good at it, he better take advantage of it right now because he's got three minutes and 45 seconds to work, and he needs a finish. You know who's good at what? Darian Abbey is good at controlling the back of the head, elbow tight to the body, and preventing space. And for this minute, that's the story. Now, Fa'aio did a lot of burning of sugars to get, get this to the ground. He might be chilling here, but if you chill here too long, you'll get stood back up. You know, grappling on the bottom is, a, is really a game of hips and grips. Yep. Uh, it's not easy to control grips from this position, and especially when they're gonna be looking to punch down on you. So plan B is probably control the posture, and Ab Abbey's doing a really good job of that from behind the neck and and uh, Justice is allowing him to do it, which is probably not a smart strategy for him. It could be because he's tired, it just could be because Abby's strong. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, good leverage, good choice, positioning, I keep the elbow tight to the body, yeah? Wow, that was a quick stand up, and you know what, we're in bare knuckle, damn it, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's on justice, you know? You, you want to show the ref that you're gonna attack from there if you want to. Um, maybe, but at the same time, credit Abby, controlling that and slowing that thing right down. I'll tell you what, as far as his prospects of winning this fight, the ref did justice a, a favor there because he's gonna have to win this fight here. He wasn't doing any damage yeah. from there. He was just gonna eat some clock. Yeah, it's true, and you're gonna, you don't want, you, you don't mind eating the clock when you're the guy presumably winning, and you're quite confident that you are, but you do mind eating the clock when you're down two rounds. <sighs> Spinning back elbow threat to a shin to the body. Yeah, Abby's feeling really comfortable right now in this third round. He knows he's ahead, he's a ten, and he's still going forward. He's not really feeling like he's in any type of danger right now. And watch, after he, it lands, he circles out, makes the gap slightly larger as he's circling laterally. And he's always circling yeah. away from the power. Yeah, old school. Old school fundamentals. That's not, ooh, that's the power you're talking about. That is not absolutely true, of course, that we must always circle from the power. That's a bit of a narrative you'll hear in you know, a corporate-style broadcast where everything's simplified. The truth is you gotta move both ways. Oh, you, you nailed it right on the head. That, that is the essence of old school because people are moving in such different directions these days, offline, from all over the place. They're throwing shots from everywhere. So yeah, if you stick to a strategy like that and think you gotta figure it out, you're probably gonna end up getting knocked out. Yeah, you become too predictable if you always step to the front foot against the southpaw. You become pr too predictable if you always circle away from the power hand. These are not truths, these are novice truths. But when you've only got a minute or two left in the fight that you don't want to get clocked, not a bad idea to avoid, to take away the, the threat of that left hand. But when you have a minute left in the fight that you're losing, you probably ought to be thinking more offensively than that tough when you've t absorbed a lot of he's still trying That's i mean easy for me to say yeah. out here <laughs> yeah right uh he's still trying no question about it he knows what he needs to do it's hard to do it it's like the, when you touch a hot element eventually you stop touching it and that hot element is the jab so it's discouraging for at you from oh boy well, he so timed that well and, and i don't know if that rolled off his shoulder if it landed flush but that was a good shot when we see Justice tonight, uh, you know, presuming 35 seconds, whether he gets through it or not, he should be very proud of the heart and the grit and the toughness, uh, but he is going to be a different looking dude tomorrow. Look at this in the last 30 seconds, still going for it. But it is Darian Abbey who has shown class and skill, intelligence and excitement. He's, he's left the safety of the earth to fire knees many times in this fight. Good, just, just a smart fight from Darren Abbey. He did, he, he did enough to win every round. He did damage and uh, didn't take the damage. Dan, we don't go to decisions around here, do we? <laughs> I'm almost confused as to what the, ju <laughs> if the judges even are, are keeping score. Wait, we have judges? After going the distance you. inside the game bread FC cage, we go to the scorecard. All three judges turn in identical scores of 30 to 27 in favor of the winner. By way of unanimous decision, Darian!